and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the fast way to beat house rules, a little talk of the rewards, and kind of why you want to be playing these. Now, I played a few house rules games to get the consensus for it. I watched some YouTube. I did some research, I went on Twitter, I did all my math first, and I've, I've, come to I've come to terms with kind of what you want to be doing for this game mode. It seems to be, it's sad, but it seems to be the way people like to play this game mode is the way that they avoid all of the rules and can just end the game quickly. That's kind of what people do, and people have been doing it against me, and it's kind of frustrating. I'll go over all that in just a second, guys, but this house is pretty fun. It's not bad, it's short, it's at the end of the fourth quarter, very quick game, I like that. I don't like full games, I don't like any of that. And it's sad, right, because I come from the era of Madden 13 and like the original Ultimate teams where... I remember I used to go home on like I used to go home on like a Thursday day, a day after school and I was like, yes, time to go play 25 full game solo challenge seasons for 500 coins per. I used to be super hyped for that. I used to play the full games. Not anymore. Times have changed. I guess the better you get it online, the less you can play offline. It's kind of like an issue. But besides the point, guys, it is the 25 days of improvements. As you guys already know, I will be announcing the winner in the 10:30 content videos. So make sure to just pop out to that at some point whenever you can. Now, as you guys know, all you have to do is enter the giveaways. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console and your the secret word you hear throughout the video, and you're entered to win. Good luck with that. Now let's get into the video. So, house rules this time around, guys. It's solo and it's online. I believe the rules apply the same though, but obviously the way you can attack it is different. So the solo one is going to be is it, is it this one right here, the hearth. So these are the hearth challenges. I don't know. It's the same type. It's the same rewards, and I mean the same rules and the same rewards technically. But the issue with this one is you are playing offline, kind of boring. But then again, you could probably get a guaranteed win every time. So if you're not a guy that likes to play online, you like playing offline, keep it simple. You can play this one if you'd like offline. Probably a little bit more boring, but you're. But I guess if you win every time, it's definitely worth it. And I don't think the other one counts for online ones anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're feeling up to it, you can play this one. If not, use always the online one, which is probably where I'll end up rocking with. But same rules, same thing applies. So my method will kind of apply. But then again, you don't really have to try so hard on the computer. It's going to be the computer. You'll probably win that out pretty easily. Now, coming over to Headset Season is where we're going to be looking at for the new LTD Hearth limited time seasons. Now, these seasons, well, this limited time one right here. It's funny because the rules don't even apply to what we're going to be doing. So there's two points per catch. Minus one on incompletion, plus five points on interception, no special teams. So, multiple ways to go about this. One strategy I implored yesterday that I don't really recommend anymore, but like it's not bad. The only issue is people are going to be playing it. So, one thing that I like to do in real games is just attack the drag. When you attack the dragon, you piss people off and they, they give up other things. But with two points plus reception, I'm not even joking. If you pretty much if you start on an offense, if you start an offense, you pretty much win. You pretty much win if you start on no. Here are the two methods you can go about. First one is you do the drag attack. You do two drags each way and always throw a medium route there to keep them honest. Because if you throw all drags, you put you they would just shade everyone under, keep the user down. It's gonna be really hard to throw. You probably need to throw an interception for a pick six. You want to be able to make sure this thing's down deep. Now, pretty much, you can start like that if you because if it's two points plus on a reception, usually I can start the game with like two to three drags, easy receptions, easy, which is gonna be two plus two plus two. That's six points. You won already. If you start with the ball, there's like three minutes in the game. So if you start with the ball and you get one drag, you're up. That's it. You won the game. Pretty much you want it. You, can, you don't even have to get three. Get one drag and then run the game out. Now, the other way you can go about this is just strictly running the ball. Now, what people have said is Wildcat. I mean, I feel more comfortable just genuinely running the ball. If you're good with Wildcat and you have like a Devin Hester with human joystick, feel free to run it. All you need is like... I mean, if you're going to need the points, right? So there's two ways to go about it. You could just run down and get a field goal. I recommend maybe completing one drag and then running the ball. That's it. And you put your clock on. It's very simple. I think that's probably the best bet to do this. Now, when you do all this, I'll get back to that strategy in just a second. When you do all this, you are getting, you are looking for these gingerbread collectibles and the hearth packs, obviously. This all combines for a lot of rewards. Now, I know you guys want to get this done as quickly as possible because I just finished, I finished one. I got five kindling. It doesn't appear that you get a lot of kindling out of these. Now, maybe it varies, right? Maybe one time five, maybe a hundred. I don't really know the ratios of what you could actually get from those packs. I know the rewards. I don't know how much of them you can get and how much it varies per time. But all I do know is that the last thing you want to do is play 190 wins straight. So if you want to get all the way up there, you want to get quick wins, I'm going to go over all the strategies that I keep going through and kind of tell you guys what I've been doing, kind of what I've seen the consensus as. But when it comes to these hearth packs they're probably valuable because i think this is where you get the collectible puzzle pieces from so that's definitely important too now here are all the things you need all these rewards for before i get back into the strategy of everything 
pretty much everything snow related or everything Christmas related right now requires the rewards you can get from those hearth packs, which is going to help you guys grind those out as well as continue moving up in this promo. So the first one is going to be the zero chill, these gingerbread players. If you want Adrian Peterson, Amari Cooper, and Ted Hendricks, with my strategy, you can get through these pretty quickly. You only need a grand total of about 13 from these. So if you play the solo challenges and you play some of that, you get them pretty quickly. Now, I actually really like Adrian Peterson. He has bulldozer, jukebox, bruiser, and first one free. He's a really good running back. I don't know, his exact stats aren't amazing. He's like a 90 speed, but those stats are really good even as a backup. Amari Cooper, again, in specialist, out corner elite, and outside apprentice, and then double me X Factor, another great wide receiver. And then Master Ted Hendricks is going to be secure tackler, enforcer, run stuffer, and reinforcement X Factor. I think these rewards are great. You can get these really simply from playing the house rules, as well as the holiday puzzle pieces, which is kind of one of the things that not a lot of people are probably done with yet. And it does give you a fair amount gives you a fair amount of rewards gives you a gift you can exchange them a little bit word for today's cookie comment down below the word cookie your console subscribe to the channel and like the video once you do all those things you're entered to win good luck stay tuned for 10 30 for the winner to be announced for yesterday not bad now back to the back to the house rules the thing that i recommend right so if you're planning to take this house rules on and you are a wildcat type of guy you want to just end it real quick because wildcat you know it's the thing with wildcat is by the time people figure it out okay it takes like let's say wildcat it takes like six to seven times of you killing them with it for them to really figure it out and then after that it's over once they once they know the exact angle and where to put people it's over the issue with this solo is you start out on offense even if you have three timeouts and you put two clock if you get six to seven good first down runs the game's over so like i always said i probably start the game with a do your simplest route even just a swing in the backfield your simplest route that you can get even if you lose yards get your two points once you get your two points rush it out or if you want to start off rushing the ball, or vice versa, another strategy is start off rushing the ball, hit them hard rushing, they'll stack the box a little bit to stop you from doing so, and then hit the drag them over. You only need, you guys you start 20-20. So you're not throwing a completion that will put you behind, but then again, a reception puts you right back above. So like I said, it does really depend on your play style, but there's so many ways to go about this, like I said. Now I'll get back to that in a second. Now back to over to team strategy. What I recommend if you guys do prefer the Wildcat, put the Panthers offense in. They have all the rushing plays. Now, again, the Panthers offense is one of those offenses with all those special plays. It takes a drive or two to figure out. Like the first drive, you'll kill me with the read option. You'll kill me with the triple option. You'll kill me with some inverted veer. You'll kill me with Wildcat. And then after a while, I'm like, okay, so if they're running this formation, put them here, put them here, put them here. That's it. Game over. Now they have to pass. They might not have that great passing plays. They might not have a passing offense. Game over. But it does take a while. Now, the beauty of this, of this house rules is that it's only... It's like a three minute game. And if you chew clock, you could get through. If they have three timeouts, I don't remember if they had three timeouts. If you chew clock, it only takes about like six or seven plays to finish this game. That's it, and one completion. It's very simple to win if you start on offense. Now defensively, if you're starting out defensively, it's a little bit different. Now I just played it, I started out defensively, I picked them off. Now I'm not bad, I'm not that bad at stopping the run. I'm pretty good at it. I can already tell what players are gonna run. If you're running stretch, I stretch my line, I pull down my corners, I shade inside so they can get off the shed real quick. It really depends on how you're playing this. Now, defensively, I'm pretty good, so I have no problem starting defensively, but I'm telling you, if you start offensively, the game's over. If you're just slightly competent, the game is over. So you can run the Panthers offense. I still don't really like running Wildcat, but that's just me. Again, Wildcat messes people up, but I, I don't know. I have, I, have, I have a love for running with Barry Sanders. I'm putting my Patriots offense back on. I was just showing you guys that real quick. But like I said, the, pa uh, the Panthers offense will take people a little bit amount of time to figure out and by the time they figure out the game's over that is what's great about house rules that's kind of what i've always liked about house rules is that dude, when you're playing seasons with people there's there's three different types of people right you play your friends online by the fifth time you guys play in a row they know your playbook you know their playbook it kind of gets a little stale when you play people online you get to play the half really fun in the second half the guy adjusts he starts to know your offense it gets kind of stale house house rules quick games like this they never figure you out so if you're good on like i'm really good on offense in short bursts of what i know well so i hit him with my best plays right away i mess them up So I hit him with my best plays right away, and it really does damage real, real quick because people are not ready for it. They're not at all. They don't know. And by the time they can adjust, the game's over. So this house should be pretty simple for you guys. An estimated time for this, if you follow these strategies, it's still going to take a little over probably 12 hours. It is 190 wins. I can't ima think about it, right? So you probably play like two games every 10 minutes. They can go quicker, but let's say an average about two games every 10 minutes, three minutes, give or take. They quit, loading times, talking, two games every 10 minutes. So you could probably win like 
max i'd say max 12 games an hour so even at that rate it would still take you like 14 to 15 hours give or take i know the math isn't exact there but i'm giving you an estimate because there's gonna be times where they quit a little bit more sometimes they don't even if you went straight it'll still take you like 12 to 15 hours that's if you want all the gingerbread men you really don't need all the gingerbread men realistically right now all you need is like 13 for those players so you can get like half from here and the other half from soul challenges really not too bad guys but i think that does cover everything my defensive strategy kind of what i'm rocking with and as far as defense guys you could blitz i mean i was coming down to cover two because you do want to i do want to i do anticipate that they're going to try to fake me with a deeper pass so i don't want to blitz and then get burnt it doesn't really matter blitzing always pressures them though which does definitely help with incompletions so yeah if you have a good d-line and a good defensive backs and everything you can blitz because then you will force them to maybe get one incomplete pass which can put them down one which will hurt them in the long run but that is about it thank you so much for watching hope that, hope this helps you guys hope you guys do enjoy but make sure to enter the 25 days of poop miss Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.